guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Pauline and today we're going to be talking about some of the things I really miss about Korea once I leave back home to the United States. Um, I'm filming slash have already filmed and published a video that talks about all the things that I'm excited for um, when it comes to going home to the US. So I thought it'd be appropriate to also film what I'll miss because Obviously, I will definitely miss Korea so much, so let's just get into it. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is my friends here in Korea. I definitely will miss the girls so much. I honestly don't think I have any guy friends here in Korea. Like, I know, like, acquaintances, like people who have worked here or are working here, but I really, really will miss the girls that I've met here, especially because we're all from different parts of the world. Um, I don't think I have many people like in my region of the US either like I have US friends but they're from like different coasts and so I'm really gonna miss them and I get sad just thinking about leaving like when it comes to not being able to see my friends for probably a really really long time the second thing um, I wanted to talk about was actually cafe culture which it, all this stuff is not in order but I really 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 will miss Korean cafe culture if you guys have ever seen any videos about Korean cafes, um, you already know, Korean cafes are another level. Um, the accessibility of them as well in Korea is like crazy. Like in a block, you could probably run into like 10 different cafes, um, 10 different styles of cafes. And I'm really gonna miss that because back at home, it's very common to like just go to a Starbucks. But hopefully with time, everyone understands that like corporate coffee is not the best type of coffee. Um, so yeah, I'm really gonna miss like the small businesses of all these cafes that are all over Korea and they're just so unique and so different and yeah, I'm really gonna miss the cafe culture for sure. The third thing I wanted to talk about was public transportation. I also uh, talk about in my other video that talks about being excited for driving at home. Well, I also am really gonna miss public transportation guys like uh, just not having to drive is really nice, like taking the train, taking subways, taking buses. It's like a luxury for someone like me who, you know, usually like drives everywhere. So I'm really, really gonna miss public transportation in Korea because it is great. Something else I'm gonna miss is being able to walk everywhere because everything is so close to each other. Um, in Texas, it's not, no ma'am. The weather does not allow you to be walking in the heat anywhere. But in Korea, although yeah, they ex um, they experience all of the seasons, I just feel like it's so normal to walk everywhere and it's like almost weird to, you know, take a car everywhere. Um, but I really will miss walking everywhere, like walking to the grocery store. I won't be doing that anymore because like in the US, I just drive there um because not like it's far you know um everything's pretty spread out but here like everything's close together so you can walk everywhere which i definitely will miss a lot um and speaking of weather the next thing i wanted to talk about that i'll miss is the amazing weather here in korea um korea experiences every single season and the extremes of all the seasons so especially me being in northern korea um south korea it's like where um it's like I experienced extreme cold as well as extreme heat. So I experienced all four of the seasons. So I got like fall, like a beautiful, beautiful fall. And then um, we got winter and then like a severe winter where it was like snowy, snowy, like deep, deep freezing cold. And then we also experienced beautiful like blooms in the spring and rainy season. And then the heat came. And so like there's many, many days like out of the year in Korea that's just like perfect weather. And I'm just not used to that. Being from Houston, like it's always like muggy. And on the days that it is nice, it's usually a weekday when people are at work. It's just tragic weather. Um, but in Korea, like you're experiencing like Christmas during like a snow, uh, snowy like time and everything like I'm gonna miss that so much like oh, I just think about how beautiful spring was chef's kiss um, Also being located where I am in Gangwon-do in Korea I'm definitely gonna miss being near a beach. I'm literally a 30-minute train from the East Sea in Korea, which is like Gangneung, which is a city and I'm gonna miss that so much because like Houston beaches, no. Galveston, no. Like that is not cute at all. But I really, ugh, the beaches in Korea are so beautiful. Like I'm really sad that I won't be able to like just hop on a train for 30 minutes and get to the beach anymore. 
Um, so yeah, I cry. I'm really, really sad about that. The next thing I wanted to talk about that I'll miss about Korea is the fast ass shipping, guys. Like, I feel like I'll order something and like it would just be here the next day, you know? Or it'll say, oh, it would take like three days, but then it only takes a day. I know Amazon's getting better with that stuff, but like, to be honest with all the controversy behind Amazon, I'm kind of like, oh, like should I be ordering from them? But like, oh, like you get conflicted about like the shipping and all this stuff. Like it's a weird complex of emotions to be honest. But in Korea, I am all for their um, services. That is so quick. Everything's just so fast here. Like mailing is fast, shipping, everything is fast. I just, I will miss that a lot because I feel like the US is like, freaking mess when it comes to that and the very last thing i want to talk about that i'll miss is definitely the, the food guys like korean food like i can go to an all you can eat korean barbecue for ten dollars like i'm gonna miss that because that is not a thing in the u.s you will not get korean barbecue for that cheap um i will miss like picking up kimbaps on my way home um onigiris on the way home like i'll miss the convenience stores like i'll miss like fried chicken deliveries i will definitely miss all that Korean schnazziness so yeah I'm actually really sad just talking about all these things that I'm gonna miss about Korea but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video just talking about all the things I'm gonna really miss about Korea and I hope you guys enjoyed um, check me out next time bye